Hey there, Adam here. Uh, tonight I wanted to talk about Templator, which is essentially just a more complicated and powerful version of the built-in templates tool. So I believe I talked briefly in my last video, which was about uh, one-click templates. I, I, I mentioned that I'd switched to Templator, so I realized perhaps I should do a quick video. Uh, and if you look in the description below, you're going to see some examples that I'm using here, so don't you don't need to try to read it off from the screen. I will include a, pa a paste bin with my examples that I use today uh, if you want to use them and get started with Templator as well. So Templator allows you a little more flexibility and a little more power than the built-in templates uh, function. Also, I was using it for uh, the quick add uh, add-on as well uh, because quick add works with this better than the built-in templates tool does. So here's the the format essentially. I so just in case anybody doesn't know, to download it, you're going to go into settings, you're going to go into community plugins, you're going to browse, and then you just type in Templator and click it, install it, and you're good to go. So as far as settings go, the only thing you're going to need to do to make it work is you have to choose your template folder location, which is my templates folder which you can see over here on the left. Otherwise, the uh, other settings can just stay the same. So in instead of, if you recall from the first tutorial for templates, uh, you do the double brackets. So, and then you just do date. That's how you would do uh, essentially the autofill functionality off of the uh, original templates. Uh, built-in functionality. For Templar, you'll see up above, it's this. So it's a it's, uh, less than sign, and then percent sign, and then to close it, you're going to do a percent sign again, and then the uh, greater than symbol. So whatever you type in the middle is going to be the syntax, and it always starts with TP for Templar, and then a period, and then you can see all your different options. Uh, and there's some decent documentation that I will provide a link to as well in the description below. Uh, but I just wanted to show you sort of how these three, I'm, I use it for my daily notes. I use it for, well, sort of for my daily notes. I, I use it for the fleeting one, which is this. And then the real one, I, which I have spent some fun, fun time tweaking, is for my literature template, which is for books, podcasts, any other type of literature. I, that I want to uh, write my thoughts down. You can tell that this is something I'm pretty interested in doing. I'm trying to stay more on top of keeping track of things I watch and consume so that it's more mindful, less wasted time to the extent that time can be wasted, I suppose. <laughs> I, so this is the, uh, the one where you can really sort of see Templar shine. So let me just make an example for you. Uh, I'll do a, I'll do first the fleeting one just to show the real basic one. You're going to see that this is this is saying date now. It's going to pull today's date as we sit here now. Uh, so to do that, so I have quick add. So, you know, normally you'd have to go and open up the command prompt or you can do control P and then templater. Well, I guess you need a new document if you're doing it this way. New fleeting. And then you would just do command P, Templar, and let's see your insert template, and then you hit fleeting, and there you go. So since I am using Quick Add, I can just do, which is my last video, I will provide a link to that at the end of the video. Uh, I'm just going to do control alt F, which is my hotkey, and then second new fleeting, and then there you go auto-filled, and I can just, just start typing. So the really fun one, I would say, and I'll, I'll sort of show you what I'm going to be doing with this, uh, is for my literature, which you notice is a little more involved. Uh, it is using data view, it's using uh, quick add, and it's using templater. So to do this, I am going to do uh, my hotkey for literature, which is Control-Alt-L. And then let's just say, what book have I been reading recently? Uh, let's do Red Rising, which is a fantasy, a fantasy book. So that's the name of the book. I'm going to hit OK. 
And you're going to notice that it's already filled a couple things for me. It filled today's date. It put the title of the book right here. It's correctly named the document. And then the author is Pierce Brown. And then I really enjoyed this book. Kind of like Hunger Games, but better. And then tags, let's just say science fiction. Fantasy. It's really more science fiction. Science fiction. Uh, I don't know. Hunger Games. Whatever. So now you've got your... And I can reference. I can include a link to the book if I want to. And then this is sort of my central, sec central section for typing. And you see sort of how fast that came together. All right. Now, what this is used for is this is used in the data view, which, again, this perhaps goes a little bit beyond the scope of this video. But I just want to show you why I've set up the way I have so that if this interests you, you can do the same. And the uh, options are sort of uh, limitless. And I realize that I'm actually missing something here. Tag. I'm going to have to fix that. I, all right. So, and this is going to tag it with the literature tag. You can do it the same way, just with tag, literature. This is just cleaner, I think. It puts it all in the same place. So now, I'm going to go to my mocks. And I'm going to my literature mocks. And you're going to see... Right here. Here it is. Red Rising. And then it's got the name of the author. I just think it's really clean. It, it looks nice. I, and the, you can see that, you know, I'm, it's, I'm building it out slowly. I, I'm starting to see more of a structure with what I want to use this for. I, I was originally doing this brackets. I, cause I thought that would be a way to organize my literature and my books, but actually I can just tag it and then Here's what the data view on this looks like, if you're curious. So it's pulling the author tag or the author thing from the uh, data view, and then from it's only pulling the stuff with the literature tag. Otherwise, you'd pull literally every single document from my uh, <laughs> from the from the vault. <laughs> so hopefully that was helpful. You know, I'm trying to keep these videos sort of short and sweet. Uh, seven minutes is already sort of on the longer side for me. Uh, I, I I think that. A lot of these guys that do the Obsidian videos, and, and women, I guess, uh, have a tendency to go, to ramble on a bit too long. Uh, I will provide the links to all three of these templates. I guess really just the two. I'll just give you the fleeting and the literature, because those are the only ones that use anything new. The Daily Note is just a quote, uh, a Stoicism quote that I like. Uh, so I will provide uh, paste bins for these two, provide a link to my previous video on the quick ad so you can see how I did that. And then data view, there are a number of good guides. Uh, and if people ask for it, I'll put together a short guide as well. But there are a number of very, very good YouTube channels that have done more uh, extensive guides into data view. And I, you know, I don't really need to retread ground that's already been covered quite well. All right, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.